Okay. So. Uh, last time. Being yesterday. Uh, you guys made. A lot more progress to restoring Adam's. Body. Back to. A normal functioning capacity. Uh, you talk to. The lads for a little bit. Talk to. Greg and Alex again. And. You. Well, Yashua handed over his dark crystal to Joe for some purification. And you all can either talk to uh, these guys over here or you can go to the docks. Before we go to the docks, let me uh, talk to uh, what's his name? Greg? Oh, yeah, about the sword. About the sword, yeah. Okay. How you doing, Greg? Hello there, friend. Uh, listen, I have this, uh, cursed blade of sorts. At least what the, the, that's what they told me what it was, but I'm not sure what it does. Here, take a look at this. See? See if you could do anything with this. Hmm. I cannot do anything with this. However, my good man Alex over here can. Friend All of right. mine, would you be so... Shut up, Greg. I'm already on it. Okay. <clears throat> so, Alex, he takes the blade. And he does the same thing that he did when Ice handed to him. Being that he placed it in the ground. He raised his arm. And he swung it across the blade to break it in half. He then takes the two blades. He puts them back together. He breaks the blade again. He removes the cursed jewel that was inside of it in the, from the middle. He takes one of Greg's sparkles. He clenches them both in his hand. And the dark energies from that jewel was not dissipated. He combines the blade back together, but this time he is forcibly trying to cause the blade to collapse on itself. And He's pushing it inward from both sides, and he manages to do that just enough to where it's no longer a blade, but when he reopens his hands, out comes a new gun. Ooh! My character is just recording this on his smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> this is fascinating. Let me... Type out what your new weapon does for you, bucko. All right. My character has some like serious jazz hands going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I get a fucking gun. Yeah, I I took a look at you know what you were carrying on you, and I figured a sword wouldn't do you any justice, so I'd give you something that would, you know, you would want to use frequently. Yeah, man. <laughs> so tell me, how's this gun look like? It's not a revolver? Is it a D50? Is it a Deagle? It is an assault rifle. <gasps> It's my birthday. Yeah, let me, um... I had an image. I have to find it again. Hold on. Aw, oh, please. 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 Dude, you're getting me excited. Don't do this. <laughs> That's the point, though. Please. Please. Okay, you know what? I don't care if I have to go out. I'll be late. <laughs> I'll be late if I'm late. Fuck it. I'm gonna finish <laughs> the session. That fucking is that on my phone? Hang on, let me scroll with Here, my phone. On. Here, on. Let me text my friends. I'm gonna be late. Got shit to do. Uh... Gonna tell I'm going to be late. Got a world to save. <laughs> I'm just gonna confuse the shit out of them. <laughs> So 
keep whenever um i have to go out right and it's my friends inviting me and and i'm in the middle of doing like a very important game session like uh, a raid in destiny or some shit like that something that requires a lot of attention and teamwork i i, I always tell him that i'm like i got a world to save and like he knows that i'm gonna be late oh that's nice that's the reason why my friends don't give me shit because because they know i will show up but i'm just gonna be late i'm not raiding but it's the next best thing Shwala Flaga. I have to add on my inventory, right? Ah, uh, yeah. How many weapons can we have equipped at a time? Or well, it doesn't matter. Um, well. Well, in your in your case, it doesn't really matter because uh, you're not like you're not pulling a Dante, right? So you're not going from like a handgun to a shoddy to a sniper to a missile launcher. It's uh, it's like for you, it's like all right, I got this in one hand, I got this in the other hand. But for like Yuki, who pretty much has to have multiple weapons at a time uh for him that matters more but like for you let's say you have like your primary and your secondary uh for those those are the ones that you like if you have those equipped those are the ones you get the stat bonuses for and if you have like i don't know seven different handguns no i'm not gonna let you have all the bonuses from those hmm No, because I was uh, expecting uh, to have, like, at least three weapons equipped at a time. Like a sidearm, a primary, and a special. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that Three gun style. It becomes Zoro. Like, hold on, with guns. <laughs> no, like, uh, you know how, like, uh, Destiny 2 is, right? You have uh, your primary, your secondary, and your heavy. Yeah. But yeah, I like, I, I, yeah, like I, I was hoping for something like that for my character. Just three weapons. At a time. Well, you're about to get your third weapon type because all you've had so far are handguns and a sniper rifle. Yeah, but it's two handguns though. Is it two handguns? I swear it is. I Ice mean, flame revolver and you, you have more than one handgun, but the all the weapons yeah, you've had so far have only been handguns and snipers. Yeah, it was Oh no, it's just one revolver. Ice flame revolver, yeah. Or or is it or is it just uh is the weapon considered two? Ice and flame revolvers. No, it's it's considered one. Okay. I get to dual wheel, let's go. All right, because you mentioned it was like the blue rose. It had two barrels on it. Yeah, I, I remember now. I remember. Fucking lit. You told me in order to equip, I have to add it to my features and traits, right? Yes. What do I have equipped? Right, there's your weapon description, and there's what it mm -hmm. looks like. <gasps> Open link. Oh, excuse me. That's a sniper rifle. That's an assault rifle, buddy. D -d -d look at it. It looks like a sniper rifle. Take a look at this. PSO2 says it's an assault rifle. <laughs> The PS PSO2 could kiss my ass. Look, look at this. It looks like a car beam. 
I know it's a pretty awesome looking card game, though. It's a good old hunting rifle. I know, right? I, I know think that's what they class as a rifle. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust Riku anymore. <laughs> he got me a fucking assault rifle that looks like a carbine. You, you either take the gun or I take it back. Or I take it. <laughs> I'm gonna pistol whip you in a minute. Fine! It's a free rifle. <laughs> All right, uh, what's it do? Prism shot ability allows you to fire a magic bullet that can bounce between up to, th oh, excuse me, up to three enemies if they are within 15 feet of each other. A D3, D7 plus attack. Fuck. Yeah, uh, prism shot spell. Do I have to add that to my skills? Yeah, it, it's a, it's an attack. Okay, uh, it's an attack, uh, let's see. Prism. My prism shot. So this is a what's the range on this? Oh fuck, that's what I forgot to include. Uh, sixty feet. Sixty feet. Yeah. Self sixty foot cone. All right, just leave that at default. Uh, magic bonus crit. I don't know what to do with that. Damage one d six. Uh, within mm -hmm. each fifteen. No, like, I'm trying to add it to my, uh, attack list. Type slashing. Uh, what do I put the, the type, type puncture? Uh, piercing. Yeah, pier pier prism shot is the, uh, the attack that comes with it. But if you just want to, uh, roll the... If you just want to use the rifle to shoot something... I used to put that in as a separate attack. <laughs> oh, so the, the prism shot is just a passive? Yeah, as long that. as you have the prism rifle equipped, uh, you can use prism shot. And then, because that's something that you can learn, it's an ability you can learn from the weapon. After 10 fights, successful fights, uh, you yeah, get the ability we... permanently. Okay, how do I get rid of this then? Oh no, you, you don't. You don't. I'll I'll show you how it's supposed to be entered in. Okay, sixty feet. This over here. This up. Seven. Is right on this. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, hold on. Let me get my calculator. Yep. itself the star shard was an equipable item right yeah gonna have to add that to my equip list later
All right, there you go. God, there's so many settings I have to figure out. Wait, what's prism shot and prism caliber round? Yeah, th this is the rifle attack itself. Prism shot is the spell that comes with it. Huh. Alright, let's add this gun to my inventory. This guy got me a weapon straight from PSL2. What a mad lad. Just wait till you see what the other weapons are from. Okay, Prism Caliber Rifle. That's on my inventory. And in order to have it equipped, I've tied it to my features and traits. There we go. Tight. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it. So Yasho asks, how did you do that? Again, uh, me and mine, family-wise, uh, we work with a lot of weapons and armors and magical things, and I just so happen to be the one in the family who can very easily work with corrupted items, but normally, the, the smaller they are, the easier the time I have with them. And because, well, you like guns and the sort, I decided to give you a gun instead of a blade. You're making me blush. How much guilt for this? Uh, I don't need anything. I already took the jewel and fixed it as payment. Oh, okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. As Yashua just expects the rifle. <laughs> well, you know, he's a gunner. You you gunners always expect weapons. Mm-hmm. So light. He's like seriously impressed and like you can tell how happy he is because his eyes are like shining. Oh, well, I'm glad to know you like it. Out of curiosity, you think I could add a grenade launcher attachment on this? Um. I. Adam, I mean, not Adam. Alex is trying to find the words, but he's too confused at your request. Ah. Uh. I. Did. That. What? Don't worry about it. It if it it's if you don't know anything about it, it means that it probably hasn't been made yet. No, no, no. I I know what you're referring to, but why? Well, back at our home, assault rifles like these usually have an alternative firing sequence, you know, for crowd control. In case there's more than one adversary to go up against. An explosive. Uh, do you just not have handheld bombs on you? 
Do you have grenades? Because I'll take those. I don't have any with me now, but they do exist here. And also, uh, I, I'm pretty sure a grenade launcher attachment would be far too heavy for the rifle in its current state. I'd have to make you an entirely different gun with a different frame and other material if I were to ever do that. Looks at the rifle and things. Possibly. It's because it's very light, that's why I'm thinking of adding an attachment to it. The heavier the rifle, the more difficult it is to add attachments to them. But considering the frame is very sleek, yeah. You're right about that. Hmm. Well, when you come up with a reasonable idea and a reasonable attachment to put on it, do let me know, and maybe we can work something out. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll I'll write up a I'll write down some schematics later on. Okay. Now, if you excuse me, I am going to go to the docks because I am quite hungry. All right. Does Greg have any grenades? No. That I'm never going to let that bastard carry grenades ever again. Oh. Alright. Well, thanks for your help. Thank you. Thank you. Ice. To the docks we go. Alright. Let me change the map. Damn it, I was hoping for a grenade launcher. Yeah, nice try. Why does this dock look so fucking familiar? I don't know. Where did you get this map from? Reddit. Hey, look, it's a recon here. Have you seen this map before, Rick? I've seen something similar to it. Oh, well, that was not intentional, but cool. Yeah, fire, dude. Thanks for the nostalgia. You get more <laughs> points from me. <laughs> All right. All so, right. Uh, where do we appear? Do we appear here? Yeah. So when y'all get here, you can see... You know, all the familiar faces, the majority of the familiar faces, uh, you can see three people you've never seen before. You can smell really good food. There's some music playing. There's a couple of crowds. And in the distance, you can hear what sounds like an argument. And... Is the argument coming from here? Yeah, yeah, you, you can you can just barely make out what sounds like an argument, and if you listen really really carefully, you can almost hear what sounds like a weapon being drawn. You do not know if the argument is a legitimate one or not because amidst the argument you hear laughter. You also see Barkeep and his wife. Uh, tossing and skipping rocks in the water and you see Angela perched up on a roof keeping watch out just in case anything else might happen okay so I'll let Yuki interact first since I interacted with Greg and Alex Now, you said there were three new characters, so I see that mage-looking character. I see this salesman over here, and this... What is that? I'm flight pretty sure it was a reference to this corner over here, but... Oh, look, they're building a ship here. Could probably take it later on. 
Oh. <laughs> well, I have to go get some food. I have to buy my am. Yeah, I'll come with. I tried some food, salary Q. The food person will be over yonder. Yes. Why, hello there! I don't think I've ever seen you two before. Probably not. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Yashua. My name is Maya. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. So, what can I get you? We've got steak kebabs. We've got strawberry parfaits. I have a couple of scones. I also have a meat pie. And... If you're willing to wait a few minutes, I can make you a pancake, about three different meats of your choosing, and I can throw in a few grilled fruits for you. You sold me on kebabs. Okay, well, we have behemoth kebabs, we have chicken kebabs, we have steak we have fish the choice is yours and yours alone behemoth kebabs mm -hmm. behemoth meat is a very very rare delicacy where i come from well not so much rare as it is treasure due to how oh delectable behemoth meat really is yashua thinks in the back of his head Behemoth sounds like a really big monster. Bless you. Thank you. And I mean, he asks, by the sound of it, a behemoth sounds like a very dangerous type of monster. Oh, of course they are. They are incredibly dangerous. However, some of them. Hmm. No, that's not the right word. A large majority of them can and will kill you at a moment's notice if they are antagonized enough. And they're so they're territorial. Some some species are, some species aren't. Fascinating. Yeah, uh, I I like to try out the behemoth meat. Alrighty. That's going to be 75 gil. Alright. Here you go. And she takes the gil, tosses it into her coin purse, and she reaches behind her, and she hands you a, a, a pretty, pretty small looking kebab of behemoth meat. But when it's like actually in your hands, you take a good look at it. Uh, the chunks are as big as your hand. I'm looking at my hand right now, Riku. Those are big fucking chunks. Mm-hmm. You know, you know how big behemoths are in Final Fantasy, right? Uh, yeah, I found oh, several dude. of them. Especially <laughs> the albino one. <laughs> Do you know which one I'm referring to? Yep. Fuck that thing. <laughs> uh... Kebab, not a kabang. <laughs> yep. These are huge. Yeah. Uh, if we... The, the secret to making very good behemoth meat related dishes is that you leave them as... Not as big as possible, but big enough so that you don't cut out all of the flavor. Hmm. Do you know that, you know Food Wars, right? Whenever they take a bite, they just explode into flavor. Uh-huh. That's what happens to me. <laughs> mm. This is great. I'm gonna go contemplate on my life while I enjoy this. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, friend. Fucking Yashua's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, 
as for you, what would you like, good sir? Not really. <laughs> Look at that sneeze still there. Jesus. Now, what is the pricing for everything combined together, Riku? Oh my yeah. god, here we go. If you're gonna ask if my character's gonna eat all of it, yes. <laughs> if he can. Uh, well, given. I'm assuming you want <clears throat> one of everything. One of each. One of each of each individual meat. Yes, that's a lot of meat. Uh, that'd be about. Uh, I probably won't have enough actually. A little, yeah. a little. It's not. It's not too expensive. I'm just run, running the numbers in my head. It'd be like just barely scraping, like six hundred gil. So, I slide over, telling her I'll take one of everything. Let's give her side another six hundred gil. <laughs> oh well. Okay, that's more money in my coffers. Uh, she grabs a pretty, pretty big plate and hands it to you. Yes. And as you eat the meat, uh, you regain seventy-five percent of your max MP. I have to do that now. That's my calculator. As I die eternally from that one sneeze. <laughs> Your allergies kicking you in the dick or something? Sounds like he's getting kicked in the throat. Oh, that too. You're gonna laugh at me, but I... I get, like, really fucked up during the winter. <laughs> I don't get sick or anything, it's just... My nose gets all... Retarded during the winter. I felt that. And you think, aren't you supposed to feel that way when there's pollen all over the place? Nah, it's the opposite. <laughs> I was born in tropical weather, not winter weather. <laughs> So what's going on? You're doing some math right now to buy her, her entire food stall? I try to sort it out. Yeah, he's just restoring his MP. I finished it. I was just waiting for the next action. Oh, I was waiting for you to be done with that. Oh yeah, this calculating something to present my max is easy. It's <laughs> fucking okay. funny. Riku. There's a police officer arresting a Persona 5 cosplayer, and the fucking caption is, Officer, you have to understand, dating a 15-year-old is a Persona 5 reference. Damn. And his Joker getting arrested. That's wild. Alright, well... The only thing you can really do at this... at Mario's food stand is, you know, buy things. Um... Uh, to help to cook. Say that again? I said, not if I offer, not if I ask, uh, fucking ask the cook, <laughs> to help the cook. There we go. Uh, I don't know. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't particularly need any help. That's why I said I don't, because I just <laughs> wouldn't. Why would he get a part-time job at a time like this? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> My fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Riku, I... I, I... <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I gotta send you this. Uh, let's see. Well, you can either go. You can either go talk to barkeep and his wife, 
uh, you can talk to this guy over here. Oh, that's a guy. Or you can go investigate where that noise is coming from. And I have my option. Should we save the best for last? Because I feel like this right here is going to be the most entertaining. Because it's an argument that could turn into a fight. Actually, you probably want to do that first, don't you? No. Hey, it's, it's, it's your call. What do you think? What That's are you thinking, guys? As I was saying, I was going to check the roof. The roof? Yeah, there's only one NPC on the roof. Oh, so you mm. were gonna, gonna go talk to Angela. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm assuming you're gonna talk to her from the ground, or are you gonna get up on the roof? What type of a peasant talk? <laughs> I'm gonna get up on the roof. Hey, man, I'm just asking. You gotta roll for that. So, no, he doesn't have to. I, nah, you should make him roll like actually. <laughs> you should make him roll because he he has a full stomach. Actually, a D and D standard jump high actually det is determined by strength, and unless this building is higher than thirty feet, the Empire off the State ground, Building. <laughs> then, yeah. Okay. I mean, I assumed he was gonna jump, which is why I wasn't gonna make him roll because you know he's already good enough at it. But anyway, so you get up on the roof and Angela feels a presence and she just turns her head behind her and notices, oh, hey, how's, huh, huh? <clears throat> how's it going? What's up? I know that was the character. What was, was that intentional? <laughs> what was that? Yes, that was intentional. Uh, well, <laughs> fucking that thing still hurts. <laughs> This guy's getting his ass kicked. How's it looking out there? <sighs> well, I don't see anything that could become a problem. And I don't sense anything that could become a problem, which is ultimately a good thing. Uh, okay. Those three young men down there are getting a little rowdy, but uh, I, I know them. They... They won't get too out of line. I'm still waiting for those brats to wake up for questioning. Though, according to my assistant, they should be waking up, uh, I'd say in about an hour, maybe 30 minutes or so. Slip and falls in the water. Either way. I, I still I wish I knew why I didn't sense that thing invading my space and causing problems oh, I'd rather mention it as I said as it goes it's the thing that you don't see coming that's gonna hurt the most hit the hardest that's not it <laughs> yeah which is why again I am glad you all were able to handle the threat in the way you did. Because had you not been able to do that, and had I somehow, had I and Ifrit somehow fallen in battle, things would definitely not be good right now. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me. How strong do you see yourself becoming in the future? Uh, it depends. Or is this far I said that? Because based on what I've seen, that bar is pretty high. A bit too high for me, but it all varies to how this, I should say, at magic the magic source works back where I was from when magic was around I didn't have access to it even though my race was technically born from it so I guess I was half magical hmm. I see. 
see. But, well, oh, <laughs> I'm not. Oh, go, go. My bad. Go ahead. I don't want to say, but as terms of powerful, it's questionable. I mean, I could potentially, depending how it goes, do what they did. The uh, chicks did. The uh, one chick did. But that's through a different method, probably from what they're doing. Out of character, I would explain how the plane shift works in D and D, but that conversation is a bit long. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was like, I just like muttered to her, right? I'm like looking out that just like, yeah, good times. <laughs> good times. <laughs> All right, well, gonna speak, and she's gonna say, "Well, I'm not going to beat on the bush or sugarcoat anything." Yes, but the bar of power that you need to attain is incredibly high, and the chances of you dying before you get there are also incredibly high, because, you know, you were sent here by Korra, and while it's up to you how you go about getting there, your goal is to defeat the Devourer and reclaim your world, but... Oh, no. I got a character. I started to disrupt to you, Riku. I know you don't know where my but set bar is. Set bar is what I'm referring to. A person, a spellcaster, could be more slow, manages to steal the power from a god. That's how, how the bar is set for ice. Okay. That's what I said. I don't think I was ever going to achieve that because magic is a bit different than compared to now. But yeah. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> and you need to figure out whatever method you're going to do to get there because, well, if you and yours die, and no one else is sent here within however long it takes for the Valor to become active again, I am 100% certain that this world, this, this dimension will cease to exist should he, should it, choose to set sights on Palamecia. And, as powerful as I am, I don't have the strength to defeat it, at least not by myself. And, well, if my old, my old fighting buddies were still kicking and breathing, we could probably make it bleed a little bit before we get our asses kicked. Well, at least they're honest about it. I do have a question, though. Yes? If they're over there, as I point out, they're at Adam and uh, if they're down below. Mention something about espers. I was wondering if you knew anything about espers. Well, long, long ago, the, what the average person would call a, a summoning. They are invoking a spell of a particular, what's the phrase I want to use? They're invoking a spell of a particular elemental deity and as either asking for their assistance or their advice, or to have a companion, what have you. And the person who created said ritual was an esper. And an esper is, to make a long explanation short, an either magical or elemental deity. So, Ifrita over there is the deity of fire. 
she is the only one of her kind yeah. and for someone like let's say that psychopath Odin he is the deity of combat and I'm pretty sure you were told this but he has one of two moods he either respects you and will have a conversation with you or he doesn't give a damn about you and would kill you on the spot because he sees you as unworthy of partaking in the world of combat like he does I see and they they're, 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 they are their own species and one does not simply become an esper you have to be chosen essentially by the elements themselves or are just born into existence as one because whatever god out there decided to create another one true and where they come from mortals aren't allowed ever because the last time a mortal invaded it it let's say an almost complete and total genocide of espers took place and from there the leader of the espers absolutely forbade any mortals from entering their realm I have a request if, it, if it's possible from you can you write a book about Esper, or if you have one already, about Esper's, of each individual Esper's, and if possible, the uh, ritual, how to summon them. Because I know there's specific areas to summon them, as I've seen. I'm pretty sure it won't work on the same area, because I believe, on a hunch, each one of them has their own specific area to be summoned from. I'm pretty sure that's kept more quiet. Um, I do not have a book about the espers, but I can, Man. I can write up a few documents about them when I get the time, and as for the ones that I know personally, uh, I only know Ifrita, Shiva, Quetzalcoatl, and Odin. There are, at least, there are at least... 20 other espers out there that I know the existence of, but as for the exact number, I don't know. Let's see. But given that you've already met Ifreda, uh, you know about Odin, and the other two, Shiva and Quetzalcoatl, those two are let's say unreasonably elusive at times it's so incredibly so difficult to get a hold of them for more than 10 seconds uh, let's see hmm. I only ask this question because if it asks the question to what I am and question whether or not I was an expert but I haven't a clue well, taking a look at you, um, you, you're definitely not your average mortal, that's for sure, with those strange machines flowing inside your body, and I've heard from Ifrit, uh, some of the things you've been doing, and those are definitely Esper level feats you've been accomplishing but you are through and through not an esper okay. and Good. just in case you're asking I myself I am not an esper oh no if you were an esper you would probably be more at the point of free free and Frida and her flames point out something to look at that your element flowing out somewhere <laughs> Again, that's Adam, but he's been cursed, so he's an exception. Yeah, um, if I were an Esper, I did have, um, 
had Shiva draw a picture of what I would look like upon a time. And, given that there's already a fire deity, uh, I wouldn't necessarily have flames. If I remember correctly, I was more... more... mystical-like? He said there were... What did that man say? I think he said if I were an Esper, I would be the Esper of Mirages, given that copy ability I like to do so often. Hmm. I see. Well, he's around. We all have our own little special <laughs> specialties or preference. Yeah. Either way, uh, I can I can write up those documents for you at a later date. Yes. But right now, I think I'm going to continue keeping an eye out. And as as she's about to finish her sentence, her phone buzzes, and her expression changes from a calm to a slightly agitated one. Ah, they have woken up. I will. I'm going to go do some questioning. Interrogation. Uh, oh, if you couple. don't mind, even though I have no right to be placing my role upon you at this moment, if you don't mind, if you could just continue with the festival and the activity stuff, but just keeping an eye out for anything that may or may not happen, I would greatly appreciate it. At some point, I need you to teach me that sense thing you do. Uh, if it's possible. <laughs> uh, sure. I don't have any problem with that. Well, I'll just keep on watching on this roof. Keep your spot warm for you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Now, I'm going to go do what I should have been doing a while ago. Angela snaps her fingers and she teleports away. Someone said to me correctly. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> oh, good luck, Rick. I sh so what? Uh, you're just waving at me with a thumbs up? Good luck. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm looking off in the distance, in the distant general area. <laughs> I used to see the full, uh, old, full grown man. Just standing at top of a roof with his, my, screen, with his arms crossed like that. Yeah, like fucking Yasha could just spot you on the fucking highest part of the roof. <laughs> Let's put it this way if you don't see me on the roof, someone's attacking <laughs> because they shot me off the roof. <laughs> right. My character just. Feels like a slight chill. He turns around, he fucking sees you on top of the roof and just... Just glares at him for a moment, thinks, the fuck is he doing up there now? The best thing. <laughs> Anyways, I just nod. And... As Riku said, there's like... A slight argument? going on over here so i just casually out of curiosity make my way over there so how am i so how so how am i going to engage this riku okay so when you get close the first thing you hear is you're not cut out for you stupid bastard you're too impulsive stop trying to be a hero and get yourself involved in something you have no idea what's happening and then you also hear, hey, watch it. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Listen, we can either settle this now or I can kick your ass again. Oh, and you know, you think you can change the score from, you know, your seven to my 45? Really? I like to see you try. So with that, do what you will. <laughs> All I have to say, look at Rick, join in, 
slap yourself into that game. I'm gonna insert my dominance right here and now I'm gonna T-pose on them. You're gonna T-pose? <laughs> do what I should do. And pose and flip the table. So, I need a table first. Let me pull a table out of my inventory and just place it behind them and just flip it. Their table. There's no table here. Let me their flip table. this boat. Right, <laughs> Imagine. There's a table there. Okay, so all right, you start T posing. <clears throat> they take the all three of them take notice of you. I'm not T posing. That's out of character. <laughs> uh, I thought you said you were gonna T pose. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not gonna fucking do that. That's not Yashua style. <laughs> He's not a dumbass. Imagine him just flying in T posing. <laughs> I'm just saying, what's <laughs> funny? All right, but yeah. Do what you will with that information. <laughs> now I'm tempted to T-pose, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's, that's a lot of comment by flipping the table. Actually, inserting yourself inside their game. That's the ice thing to do. <laughs> the Yashua thing to do is just, you know, use stealth and just... Tap them on the shoulder and say, is there a problem? But I don't have stealth. Maybe if you do that... That can actually lead to you getting attacked. <laughs> well, well, yeah, sure. I fought a couple of warriors. He could handle himself. Oh, you got this. I believe in you. <laughs> There's a thumbs up from a shining man out of the distance. <laughs> My character could feel your dumb your thumbs up and your evil grin. Okay. I tap this guy on the shoulder to get everyone's attention. And I say, is there a problem here, gentlemen? The hell do you want? We're having a conversation, butt out. Now, now, there's no need to be hostile. Oh. You, gen you, you gentlemen are being very loud in the middle of a festival, so I thought there was a commotion going on here. Oh, you ain't seen hostile there. yet. Keep talking to me and you will. Hey, 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 V, 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 chill out. All right, you're being a dick. More so than usual today. Is that a problem? Uh, yeah, actually. I'm tired, I'm tired of this goddamn childish behavior from you. And, you know, it, it's... Listen, just because you, you, you saw someone fighting, the one thing you claim you love to do all the time, that does not mean you can just pull up and start doing the same thing they're doing. Oh, really? That's a good thing. Really? That, that, that's so funny coming from the biggest hypocrite out of all of us. Fighting? Uh, hold up. Out of character wise, aren't you glad Ice isn't there, Rick? <laughs> I'm glad you're not here to escalate things, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I just imagine you just said, all right, bra, just punches. I don't know who in the face, the aggressive one. Which was the aggressive one? The one right in front of you, V. Yeah, this guy, he just like... <laughs> Instead of just tapping the shoulder and say, Hey man, chill. No, you just punch him in the back of the head and just knock his ass out. And you go like, there, problem solved. <laughs> I won. A real bad speak with their fist. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah. They should... anyway, yeah, 500 back, years back, ago, maybe. Back in character. You see the one, you see huh? this guy right here who keeps like tightening his gloves and he's like, well, I mean, both of you ain't shit compared to me. So if anyone's going to go out and try to be a hero, it ought to be me because I'm the least impulsive one on all of us. And they both look at him, shut up, you anger having problem bastard. The moment anything even remotely pisses you off, you don't put a hole in a boulder. I don't want to hear it. My character can't resist and he kind of chuckles a bit at the three of them. And they all collectively turn and look, so what are you laughing at? <laughs> at you three, you remind me of my younger days when I was in the middle of a war. They all it's good to have a fighting spirit. But you also need a good reason to use it. 
not what to just do we need other than trying to rid the place of anything like what happened in the bar today or happened in the bar earlier we don't need shit like that here of course not none of us do but you can't just simply blindly go out there and fight something that you don't know anything about it's reckless and it's foolish it may be that but it's already something we've been doing for so long and that's how we've been getting along or well how we've been making through because I hate these two bastards and we hate you two and you the three of them pretty much bounce the I hate you amongst each other Anyways, what's up with you three? Why are you guys arguing? Well, uh, this one oh, to the right is talking. Well, these two idiots decided that <clears throat> they wanted to be inspired by what you two, you and yours did as far as neutralizing that threat. And when you, uh, fought off all those monsters from attacking the village the other day and they decided that they wanted to once again attempt to be mercenaries to go save people even though they're the most self-centered selfish hypocritical bastards on this planet the only thing they want to go do is fight for glory and money meanwhile I'm the only one out of the three of us who actually wants to help people and the one who goes by V says, I swear to God, if you lie again, that is not why I want to go do this. Arnold, back me up. And the one named Arnold says, well, to be fair, you did say before that all you want to do is fight for money and glory. Whether that has changed now, I don't care. But he's not completely lying, is he? In that case, mercenary work is not cut out for you. And what would you know about being a mercenary? Mercenary work is all about fulfilling the contractor's orders and getting paid to do so. A good soldier follows orders. <laughs> do I look like I'm trying to join any kind of military? No, but... But mercenaries also function like a militia. You should know this, since you want to become one. Why go through all that? You Crap, should be a bounty hunter if you're looking for... Own. If anything, you should be a bounty hunter. You'll get fame and glory. Really now? You know, since you know so much... Why don't you show me how much you really know? And when he says that, he slowly starts reaching behind him. And Arnold goes, oh fuck, here we go again. I'm always trying to pick a fucking fight with someone. Well, I wouldn't advise you putting your hand on your weapon. Oh, really? What you gonna do? Stop me? I'm not gonna stop you, but if you insist... You look... you look like someone I can take easy. And... Do you have to roll anything here? Because I... Because I really want to shoot him in the head, but not to kill him, but just to prove a point. Like a quick draw? Uh, not yet. Uh, this one's... His, his name is Michael. And he goes, hey, eh, yeah, your name's Michael. Uh, by the way, we're all, uh, twins. You know, minus the skin color. Uh, he likes to fight people. And, uh, apologize in advance. He's kind of a dumbass. Well, he's not kind of, he is a dumbass. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna let you handle that. That's not my problem. I'm just gonna back up right over here. <laughs> and if, 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 if you do, you know, kick his ass. 
try not to throw him in the water. And I'm saying this oh, on purpose because he can't swim. So, do with that what you will. And now, uh, please roll a 1d10. Uh, alright. Instead of just typing it down, I could just do this. Alright. Uh, the moment he has his weapon in his hand and is about to pull it out, you just pistol whip him. Oh. I did not want a pistol weapon. I just wanted to sh shoot him in the head with a rubber bullet. You don't have any rubber bullets. I was about to say, I don't think you have rubber bullets. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you were going to shoot him in the head, you're just going to kill him. Yeah, I'm just going to pistol whip him. And he... You hit him, but he doesn't visibly react in pain. Like, you hit him, but he has this really smug look on his face. And he says something along the lines of, You shouldn't have done that. And he pulls out his weapon and is a considerably large sized katana. And he takes a swing at you. Oh. I get to fight. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, you are faster than he is, so you go first. Four turns, right? Five. Oh, five? Five actions. All right. Move my mic out the way, real quick. <clears throat> All right, that is a hundred and sixty-nine damage. And I don't want to kill him, so I'm gonna use Libra on him, so so I can see how much health he has. Okay. It. Bring this up. Put the calculator back up. Did that wrong again. Hang on. Do this and then the bar should show up now. Wait, what the fuck? Why does this keep changing? Well, he has 3,831 HP left. Okay. I Libra'd him, so does he have any elemental weaknesses I should know about? Uh, no. I have to type that up for you, too. Give me a sec. Okay. So, Ice, you're just observing, having a good time up there? That's a one-on-one -on -one fight. I've well, yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. I just okay. want to know what your character is thinking while watching the fight. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm keeping somebody else's role filled. <laughs> yeah, 
you mentioned it, it's like a merc what that's the irony about messing mercenaries. Mercenaries aren't like soldiers. They can be, but they aren't half uh, the other half the time. <laughs> Thank God Angela's not here or else she would have wiped the floor with all of us. So since I shot him with a piercing shot, he hasn't he lost some defense and dexterity. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him negative defense. I'm, I'm gonna give him a hard time. Okay. Let me know when I could attack again. Still not showing up. What the hell? This is not... yeah, I'm gonna keep track of his HP with the uh, with a calculator. Okay. I got to show up last time. Don't know what I did though. I mean, there's something setting or something that wasn't. So he he top. starts at four thousand, and how much damage did I do to him before? One six nine, so he's at uh three thousand eight hundred thirty one. Study rest of his math. Well now he has zero defense, so that's he's taking full damage from that. Okay, now he's at uh thirty six forty four. Okay, I'll, I'll keep track of his HP with the calculator. Just tell me how much damage I do to him. Okay. Here, uh, let's test out. While, while I shoot him in the legs with the armor piercer. Yashua says, I, I I always wanted to test this gun out for a while now. And I shoot him with a, a prism caliber. Okay. Oh, it fires two bullets at a time? Yeah, so you're rolling the attack twice. So, roll it again? Yeah. Thirty-three, twelve. And that's turn. That's action three. I'm not gonna use prism shock because I don't want to hit the other two. Well, they aren't considered enemies, so it won't hurt them. They're just watching. Oh, all right. 
Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just being realistic here because he told me the bullet bounces. Yeah. It only bounces between enemies. Gong Fu have to roll twice, right? Yes. Since I'm up close and personal. Twenty-nine thirty-six. Okay. Can I use my last action to defend? Uh, you have one more attack action, and you can use your ending action to defend. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm you, gonna you pull also knock them back. Uh, knock them back five feet. Oh wait! Oh, it's there there's now. his health bar. Nice. So what? So what you have to update? I don't know. Here, here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so I could get a closer look. Oh wow, he's uh. I like his hair. <laughs> yeah. As I knock him back, Yashua says, I feel kind of bad. I don't want to ruin your hair. It looks good on you. Uh, and Vincent responds, that doesn't matter in a fight. Hair is hair. It'll get fixed or grow back or whatever. <laughs> Unless you're Goku. <laughs> Drew, Drew, Super Unless you're Goku. <laughs> he loses his eyebrows. <laughs> Excuse me. Here, I'm gonna see if I can poison him. Ah, uh, yeah, he's poisoned. Town. And I can use your ending action to uh, defend. Right, so now. Oh, so he's at 2782? Yeah. Alright. Now, oh, Vincent, hey. excuse me, shit. Uh, he's gonna get to swinging, and you take a look at his weapon, and uh, it's a, it's a pretty big weapon. Like someone of his size should definitely not be carrying something like that around. And you question no. how he was able to just. Just you know, stroll around with it strapped to his waist like that. Curious, is your sword of me from nanotubing? And nanotubing. I, nanotubing, yeah, it's a thing. I don't have a clue of what you just said. All I know is that it's a sword and it works. Fair enough. So it's first attack. Oh.
that too. That. All right, this this attack is gonna hit you. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so four. Okay, so that that's the damage roll. Now you need to take your defense and then subtract that from the damage roll. So that's. Oh, that's the wrong number. Okay, so you're taking 24 damage from that. 910, subtract 24, and that's 885, no, 886. And then, uh, lower your attack and defense by 25 points. Because he, uh, if you remember right, or if you remember from the rule book, uh, he used the uh, punishing blow from the cloud class character type. Ah, oh, he's a cloud class. Mm -hmm. So twenty five. Yeah. On attack. And defense. Yeah. Okay. Where's my defense? 20. Oh, this stack's gonna hit too. Wow. Okay. Okay, you're gonna take another 44 points of damage and then lower your crit stat by 5. See if it hit you again anyway. Ah, no. Google Chrome, stop that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Huh? Google Chrome started acting out of pocket. Damn, okay, that's gonna hit too. Wow. For once, the enemies are getting lucky with the rolls. Since he's nerfing me with these effects, can I just use Isana to get rid of them? No, these are stat downs, not ailments. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna take another 42 points of damage, and when your next turn comes around, you'll have four actions instead of five because you are stunned. And for the duration, that would be. Okay, so your next two turns, you will have four actions instead of five. Okay. And in his last action, he is going to drink a... He's gonna drink 
a mega potion and regain 200 hit points. So now he's back at well, he's at 2982 health. And it is your turn again. And that sword does sting a bit. <laughs> well, he nerfed my attack, so I'm gonna have to nerf. Gave him no defense at all. To the negatives. Okay, let's see here. Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. Do that. And do this. He's at twenty seven eighty nine. He currently has minus 10 defense. Dude, should I be really rude and just give him all negative 100 defense? Is that the cap? What? Like, no, no, how no, much? No, no, no. Th there's no cap on stat downs. Really? Yeah, because, yeah. uh, like, if someone was playing a gunbreaker and they had Odin as their guardian force and they want to use on dead skin uh you can lower enemy stats by up to 99 percent and that shit stats so you can make someone have minus 150 physical defense though that wouldn't be possible if you had a gunbreaker party but you don't have one so rip okay so i'm gonna add this one up at Trying to decide what your, what your fourth uh, combat action is going to be. Yeah. Alright. Alright, he's at twenty two fifty one. Alright. Okay, let's see. Ending action defense. What's the difference between ending action offense and defense? Is there anything? Uh, no, there, you're, if you don't use your ending action to defend, uh, you're just gonna take full damage after your defense gets calculated, but if you defend, you take minus 20%, or well, an additional minus 20% damage. Fuck, okay, that hits, wow, alright. Cool. So it would be cool for ending action, I could set up a counter. Or a trap. Well, 
your class Hopefully doesn't do that later on. Your class doesn't get traps, but there is a there is a counter attack move you can learn much much later though. All right, gonna keep that on. Gonna write that down. On my phone, I have a notebook where I'm starting to write shit down for D&D. My priorities. The electric guitar is there. <laughs> That's 95. Uh, oh, he... Okay, so do that. Minus. Seven. Take 81 damage from that. Okay. That was a big boy swing. Yeah, he did a uh, he did double slash. Gotta go see if he hits you again. Cause you know, oh boy, got minus thirty fucking speed. Right. That's not a hit. That's a wasted action. Tight steps. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Also doesn't hit. Fuck. Okay. Jumps over swing. Ooh. Okay. Wait. So he swings at you. He misses, and he stumbles and nearly drops his weapon. And so because of that, uh, when his next turn comes around, he'll have minus one action. <laughs> Hired. <laughs> your turn again i'm gonna use cure on myself all right uh, how am i gonna map this it was wisdom and mp right yeah so the base power of your cure is 35 so you're gonna do 35 plus 769 and you're gonna okay Divide that by two, and then you're going to add uh, 140 to that because you have a bonus 14 points in wisdom, and that comes out to 542 HP. Well, back to max HP. Sadly, I can't overheal. <laughs> Huh, now that you said that, I just realized that, like, the only person who can overheal here is Yugi. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not saying, like, it's a bad thing. Alright, uh... Okay, yeah, so you're back at full health. Alright. Second action, I'm going to... Let's see, what would hurt the most? We're not using Limit Break here, right? No. Otherwise, okay. I would have been telling you to add points to your room break. Yeah, game. yeah. I was wondering about that. That's why I asked. Okay. 
So I'm gonna use uh, Prism Caliber round, but with the Thunder, uh, the Thunder Crystal Shock rounds. Say that one more time. Okay, I'm going to use this uh -huh. with Thunder Crystal Shock rounds, or sorry, Crystal Shock rounds. Okay. So. 44 rounds down to 42. We're just gonna glaze over the fact that you rolled a crit. Nah, don't worry about it. Still <laughs> live. <laughs> oh, it's to nat 20. Yeah. A anytime you roll, I a didn't nat blow his arm off. Relax. Yeah, anytime you roll a nat 20, uh, that's an automatic crit. Because, remember, you, know, you guys can decide to declare an attack as a critical and then roll the critical dice thingy. But, y'all be getting a lot more nat 20s than I thought y'all would, so hey, all the power to y'all, shit. I don't know, man. I've always been lucky with the dice. That's why I don't gamble, because I feel like I'm going to lose it. That's a very easy to gamble. <laughs> Okay, well, you just did a clean 600 damage to this poor bastard. He's at 1652 HP. And, uh, after you hit him, he, he looks quite shaken up by that. Yeah, sure, just snaps his fingers. You good? Look like you're hurt quite a bit. I, I'm fine. Don't, don't worry about me. You're not supposed to worry about your enemy in a fight. I don't, I don't see you as an enemy, so I'm concerned. He just, he glares at you and squints his eyes. My character just smiles at him. You bother me. He says in response. He sighs. Ah, I'm just trying to make a friend here. Um, Anyways, la uh, three that was my. Left. How many actions? Three. Three? Yeah, because okay. when your next turn comes around, uh, you'll be back at five and won't be stunned anymore. Alright. He's at 12, 17 health left. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing again with both. Uh, both shots are gonna be uh, crystal shock rounds. Except, you said I could roll. I could state it's a critical attack, right? And roll for it. Yeah. Can I roll for both of them or just one shot? It. Hmm. Didn't think about that part. Uh, yeah, you can roll for both of them if you want. Alright, cool. And what what do I roll for crit? Okay, so you're going to take your crit number, and you're going to subtract that from 100. So you have 12 crit, so you're going to roll a 1d88. 1d88? Yeah. How do I roll it? Okay. Guess I'll do it on the keyboard. Yeah. yeah. Is it slash R, right? Yeah. Yes. 1D88. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so not that's crit. not a that's not a crit. That's a crit. Yeah. Okay, so. 
That's another 514 points of damage. Man's got 703 HP left. Was that my last action? Oh no, I shot twice. That was my... Yeah, you got one left. No, wait. No. I think that was my last action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are my actions because you just first one to kill yourself. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Vincent is uh quite pissed off now, and he is he, he's just gonna start swinging in this blind well not blind rage but he's pretty pissed off. So he's incredibly he's angry. angry. Wow. He's angry, all right. Yeah, he, he, he pissed. Bonk. That's what I felt. <laughs> uh, okay, so that says, uh... Damn, you rolled a one. What is that for? Uh, cross slash. So he, he's hitting you three times, but uh, your defense is so high you don't even take any damage from that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so you can take zero damage. Shut up, fella. Oh, I'll say, Rick is new tank. <laughs> oh, that's a miss. Tilt his head. Misses. That's a hit. Uh, he's gonna do cross slash again. Uh, once again, you take no damage because your defense beats out his damage roll. Yashua is just deflecting his strike just with with his revolver. <laughs> he looks at you and he screams, You know what? I'm about real tired of you. And then one of his brothers go, but you're going to pick the fight. Shut up! Alright, it's uh, your turn again, Rick. Normal rounds this time. Right. Okay. I was keeping track of my ammo, thank god. I'm at 90. 90 shots. Actually, no, I lied. I shouldn't be at 90. Oh! Mm. That, uh, that first shot does half damage. I'm at 85. That, that no bueno. Half damage? Yeah, because you got you wrote you wrote a one. Oh, that's fine. It didn't it didn't have enough gunpowder in the shot. <laughs> it didn't have enough gunpowder in the bullet. And like, oh, a not oh a non lethal round. Vincent is at three eighty nine HP. No, uh, three seventy nine. Oops. Can I pistol whip him again? Uh, sure. He's really low health. Rough strength? Um, yeah. Oh, right, that you, was. You clock him upside the head for. What's your attack stat? What, 98? 
attack stat. 93. That is, that's pretty high. Okay, yeah, you clock him upside the head for 93 damage. Oh, you're also back at five actions, by the way. Your stun wore off. I'm just gonna pump one with the with the back of my pistol. Two eighty, two eighty ones. One. So you said you can do that again. I'm gonna use all my five actions, just beating him up with the pistol. Okay. Like I said, I don't want to kill him. I'm just gonna beat him up. Yeah, he's KO'd. You, you, uh, he's at minus 13 HP. Had you, had you, like, actually start, like, laying into him, you would have killed him because of overkill. Yeah, like, I, yeah, like, I, I, I didn't want to take that risk and kill him. That's why I just beat him up. All right. Well, he's, uh, he's down and out for the count. And on the last hit, you... After you hit him, he stumbles backwards into the water, and he's trying to uh, pull the reach out towards the wood and pull himself back up. At zero HP, that's, that, uh, that's more durable than I thought. Uh, I'm gonna, well, you know, at, pull him out of the water. He's at minus thirteen, but roll twenty. Well, let me put in minus thirteen. Oh, it's because the five V just doesn't do that type thing. It's yeah, now that reach zero. Now, if this was 3.5, he'd be dead. Oh, yeah, he'd be dead as hell. If I shot him, he'll be dead. Yeah. Right, so you pull him out the water. And he's... He's struggling to get up, but he's... Far more angrier than... What he was earlier, simply because he lost the fight. And while you don't gain any... EXP for that... Uh, you do gain, uh, plus two crit. And, you know, reset your stats back to normal and blah, blah, blah. I will change the music again. Stop the button. That was a fun fight. Yeah. Uh, give me just a moment. I'm going to go get something to drink. I will be yep. right back. I'm at 19 crit. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves or whatever. I'm at 82 bullets. You enjoyed the fight, Ice? <laughs> I think this is out of character talk, unless you're yelling across the map. <laughs> nah. Actually. Well, it all depends what I saw in between. So I'm gonna need to ask Riku that. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can do, That's... can do in, 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 in character talk. All I do is, uh, I turn around and see you on the roof and just give you a thumbs up. Let's check my head, like, it's only this visible because it took so long. <laughs> You should take them all three at once. That's how a real man does it. Ah, uh, I'm not a demigod. Can't do that. Well, I, can I can't. I can't wait to read the summary that Riku's gonna put later on about this uh, session, about Yasha just beating in black and blue. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Oops. Alright, while Riku's away, I'm gonna go use the bathroom quickly. Alright.
right, I am returned. Oh, fuck. Rick went to the bathroom. Okay. Ow. And it's time to fight. I want to try something. Okay. <gasps> Excuse me. I went to do uh, the concept of muscle flex. Actually, at this point, I should say I want to concentrate my blood flow at this point. Realistically, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you you so, focus concentrating your blood flow? That's basically what muscle flex is. The yeah. concentration of blood flow. So I'm going to do the same premises of it, but into my eyes. Okay. To enhance my vision. Okay. Now what do I roll to attempt this? <laughs> Unless you're rolling. Um... Roll, uh... Hmm. Roll a 1d100. I mean... Okay, cock. That sounds about right with my luck stats today. <laughs> Hang on. I was about to say... But it'd be easier since I know how to move my flow of blood. Given that's basically the concept of muscle flex. Actually, that would be interesting, though. Why does fire me as a straight. Hmm. I think I lost my own thoughts. Hmm. Well, you do that, and you just barely enhance your vision, so things appear to be a little clearer vision-wise, but not much else. As I think that, I was like, hmm, there needs work. I was like, maybe I didn't add enough mana. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what, like, is that new system of, like, magic? So it's like... <laughs> I'm gonna do a second attempt, this time around, a little bit more mana. <laughs> As I had to contemplate how much mana I could see in the first time around. Which is these 10 as the base. I don't want to talk about what I just did. <laughs> I, was saying, I was, like, reading it. I was like, oh, it's gonna be two, because 20. I attacked the zero as if it was actually there. So I had 8,207 HP. Uh, huh? yeah, <laughs> it was accidentally typed in. I was like, that's not how much I have. Bro. I'm back. Sorry about that, gentlemen. I'll go back. I'll do it. This time, if I if you hit with the pot, bro. This is the second time around with more MP. If it's not, it is what it is. But I'll keep watch. Just, just to. <laughs> Just to keep track for, for my sake, you're doing this to enhance your own natural vision, right? Yes. Okay. Because I don't know how to do the sense of the whole thing that uh, the wife, the part, the uh, the chick does. So I, it's either hearing a vision or all, actually I could probably try to do it to all my senses. Actually, I might as well try to do it to all my senses. Okay, well, for each sense, uh, roll a 1d100. Oh, we're doing all five. I mean, you, you'd think touch would be irrelevant, but if someone entered my space, and I, I somehow I had my touch. What's he rolling for? Uh, experimentation. Hmm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me actually copy and paste this. Copy and paste. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a success. So which one did you succeed on? Hmm. The first one would have been vision. The second one would have been the more reliable, th the second reliable thing. Because it would have gone down the list of things we perceived by. So it would be hearing, then smell. And taste, 
and then touch. Okay. Well, um... You were able to... Well, for each one that wasn't the 98 and the 48, you have just barely enhanced that particular sense. But for the 98 and 48, you... You feel as if your senses are temporarily hypercharged. Is your character just sitting on the roof meditating while doing this? I need to keep... Oh, I have an eye open this time around. Uh, it's like, hmm, something to sit on. Definitely need to work on my control. Uh, control flow of stuff. Definitely a key thing. What? Like I said, Riku. I mean, he could practice on and off, but I'm not sure how much you would give it to him for mastering it. Well, it's something I hadn't thought of. I'll have to figure out. Yeah, but, but I'll keep like, it in mind, though. Yeah, some of those stuff is like on the fly stuff. But uh, Ice would sit on it, watching out, doing like. I would say basic exercise, which is like breathing and so forth, to concentrate on blood flow. Mm hmm. Make it simple for your case. <laughs> just, say all... just say meditation then. I would, that would require me to close my eyes. That's the issue. Meditation doesn't require you to close your eyes. It de well, it depends on this version. Yeah, what do you mean by Angela asked him to keep watch over the place while she's gone. I can't go that deep into a medication, sadly. <laughs> That's why I just, uh, block up. Flow, flow control is the best thing right now. Breathing exercises, I guess. I mean, it's just basically on the basic way. But, if we celebrate the time, Alec is your go. You just finished this fight. Unless Rika has something to say about me watching. What? Yeah. I want to say, do I find anything out of the norm during that time? Besides, uh, Joshua fighting? A strange man with a sword. Um. Should I roll perception? Yeah, roll perception. Would I have advantage because of my experimentations up here? <laughs> yes. That's better. <laughs> okay. You see something. Not sure what. Excuse me, but you see something moving around in the water here. Huh. Wait, uh, where? Ping? Well, y Yuki sees it, but it's oh, here. Oh, here somewhere. Yeah, Josh, you, your character doesn't know it, what's there because you didn't try that, but Yuki definitely sees something moving in the water. Huh. I got that. So... For anything, at what point during Joshua fight did I notice this? Uh, you notice it about halfway through. Okay. I'm gonna look down at Ifrit, and I was like, I'm gonna go check something. Y'all out there, I was like, I'm gonna go check something. All of you see something unusual. <laughs> Alright. investigate. Let me know if you need any backup. Yes. I'll look, I'll peer into the water. That, that's a word. What? What is it exactly? Now that I'm closer to try to get a better view of it. Um. Actually, it'll probably be right here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, it appears to be some. From what you can see, it appears to be a humanoid kind of fish. A siren? As, as far as you can tell, it is moving around in the water as if a human were swimming in it. As I, like, put away my blade, like, definitely not a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only one insane, reasonable thing to do. Uh, dive fishing in and inspect. <laughs> Grab your fishing rod. <laughs> Okay. I'm not piercing a potential humanoid. <laughs> oh, a humanoid. Okay, so you dove into the water. Yes. Um. It is a little dark, so it's a little hard for you to see, but you do have your little sparkle ball thingy. True. Good old sparkle ball. Yeah, actually, I would have just... Can that thing float right quick? 
yeah, they're they work the same way Greg does. They float around his face. Yeah, actually, I'll float it over the water, over the surface of the water. I'm not sure if it's actually waterproof. So I'm, I'm gonna, how much do that I consume? 30? Yeah. Well, okay. What if yeah, I it, placed it's, it there? It's 80 to use it as an attack, but it's 30 to just move the thing around. Place it where? Yeah. What if I just place it over the water? What does it just consume 30? Without the need of throwing it? Um, like how far away from you? Uh, like right here or something? Uh, yeah, around there, where I the last saw the humanoid before I go under, essentially. Um, it's not that much of a distance, so it's not gonna cost anything. Okay. Oh, what do I see in the water? Or do I need to make another perception check? Because, uh, the water. The moment you lay eyes on whatever it was you saw, it fucking takes off in a different direction. Which direction? It it went this way. Oh, nope. Not going deeper into that ocean. <laughs> well, I could probably catch up to it, but... I mean, you can, you know, trigger the flight mode in the water. True. Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me a sec. Alright, he's gonna Jesus walk. All this is happening in the middle of the fight I'm in? Yes. No. Well, yes, actually. I was about to say, just wreck on it. Now that he's flying after it. <laughs> I, I was looking at a message and the message no I was responding to, I was saying no, but yeah. So he's gonna have his own fight. Awesome. Potentially. But we don't know that. Alright. That everything's so... about fighting. Uh the closer you get to it, it tries to swim uh further and further away from you. So now you're basically in a chase sequence. So let me just turn this on. Of course I call as I do this, I would call the fire ball light to me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be a 30. I need to type, type, stop typing that extra zero. Anyways. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so it's the swimming, and you can... You look back in the water to follow with your eyes, and it looks like it's trying to draw something from its back pocket as it's swimming away from you. It's a shame I can't talk underwater. <laughs> I fear no danger. Until it fucking downs me in one to go. But I fear no danger. <laughs> okay. So now... The closer you get to it... It's going to attempt to hit a U-turn on you and throw you off. And for that, I will have the thing roll. Ah, yeah, the U-turn was successful. So now it is swimming this way. How dare it. <laughs> Why do I have anything that's useful? Throw a harpoon at it. No. <laughs> uh, I don't believe I have anything that's useful. Well, it's no ch I mean, I would follow Chase to try to keep up with it after the sudden new turn. All right. It and is. Left up it is for a very, a very brief moment, going to pop out of the water and throw a spear at you. Ooh, that's a piece. I want to make that spirit for harpoon later. <laughs> uh, you can... So you can do one of three things. <clears throat> you can yeah. choose to just dodge it. You can pull sleight of hand to catch it. 
or you can roll uh, athletics to punch it back at the thrower. I was trying to think if I like to catch it. I would steal it. But there's the catch it. And probably having it hit me in the arm. <laughs> Uh, you, just, <laughs> you just barely catch it. Caught it. Looks at it. Just pocket it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to do a, a way to it through, I guess, physical action. I mean, no harm. Even if I'm chasing, because I'm curious what the, what the heck it was. But yeah, me putting away the weapon is like the indication of my intent is not to harm it, essentially. Right, right. And the question is, does it get it? <laughs> uh, no. How dare you. If only I had a fish. <laughs> Alright, so it is going to... You can see it doing what appears to be uh, hand signs That's under the water, cool. and <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> oh, excuse me again, Jesus. And it is going to very briefly uh, flash white, and then it is going to vanish from view. So you can you can roll uh, perception. You're gonna have They're to go pretty visible? high to spot it again, though. Is it going visible or something? No, it it teleported a distance away from you, but it is still within visible range if you get a high perception roll. Well, it's one thing to do at a time like this. Bear with me, Riku. I regret nothing of my choice with this one. So I'm gonna use what I just invented not so long ago with the senses. Okay. And do it to my touch. Actually, would it be touch? Yeah, sense of touch. And I'm gonna muscle flex to clap my hand to try to produce and provide sonar. Right here now. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. As I had to keep track of my mana now, because that actually would cost a bit to actually do. Yeah. I mean, I had 667. Those flex, depending how high, which would be flat out 50, because clap, doing anything physical in the water is pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I has to use the back strength. So what do I roll to attempt this technique for you? <laughs> hmm. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna need three one d fifty rolls. Three, three fifties, because you can see in each individual rolls. At ten, at thirty-six, and a forty-three. Ah, well, that your your plan it worked, and you now know that the thing that you are chasing is quite literally behind you. Or, yeah, behind you. Like a tiger, I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, it looks at well, <clears throat> the both of you. You look at each other. I mean, I raised my hand to try to indicate. I mean, a heart. I would assume after what it just witnessed, it knows I can probably kill it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's gonna look at you. It's not gonna say anything. Oh, that's my last for one whole round. That's good. It's just I going to. Be... 
inquisitively stare at you, and it's is going I mean, to. If it what if it's staring at me, I'm gonna point up and hand motion like to talk. <laughs> I don't know how to talk underwater. I don't think it's feasible to, for me to talk underwater right now. Nope. Yeah, so I'm gonna hand motion it to go up service to talk. Let's okay. roll. You want me to roll performer to try to charade this? Or are you just gonna give it to me? Nah, I'll let you have this one. Good. Right, so the two of you come above the water. At least you poke your heads out of the water so you can talk. All right. Thank God. And he speaks. What? Um, so I know that I'm looking a little shady right now. You don't I, say. I, I just <laughs> I just wanted to see what was going on here. That's all. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're welcome to the festival. Uh, pretty sure. I mean, if you're not. You'll be my guest to the festival festival. <laughs> no, no, I don't I don't wanna partake, I'm just being nosy and looking around. That's all. Uh, I mean it's better to walk through it. Even if you don't want to partake to see what's actually going through than watching from far. No, I, that's so weird. I I think I've I've seen enough. I'm I'm going to go back where I came from now. My curiosity has been sated. I see. What is your name? And the situation we ever meet again. My name is Bazad. Huh. I'm assuming you're from a village. Uh because I don't see many cities being built underwater if you do live underwater. Our nice. civilization is different. I'm not from a, a village. I just inhabit a place south of here. Oh. So you live alone. That's yes. a very bold assumption. Well, you tell me well, this is up to you. If you tell me where you live, I can probably pay you visits here and there if you ever get too lonely. Or you just come over here. Uh, the lonely life is... The, the lone life is probably the loneliest life. So, well, it's not the easiest life. There you go. No, I don't really... I don't really enjoy having visitors per se, on the rare chances I do leave my house, I, uh, on the rare chances I do leave my space, I, uh, I tend to stay by myself and, uh, keep it that way. Hmm. Well, if you ever need help, uh, I got guest requests from, you come back over here and request for me. The name's Ice. I will keep that in mind. Ice. Yes. Okay. I am. I am going to leave now. It was interesting speaking with you. Oh, right quick. How did you do that teleporting technique thingy? Um. I made symbols with my hands and decided on where I was going to go. Hmm. Interesting. Don't mind me. I am... I am new to magic. It just intrigues me. That's all. Uh, well... You keep being intrigued, and I'm... I'm going to go leave now. He travels. Right. 
and fly he... out the water. <laughs> Bazad very quickly leaves the area. What an interesting chase. He didn't ask for a spear back. I just robbed a man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a question. Get a free weapon. How much MP does it cost for me to move around? Uh, I thought I need to distract another 70. Yeah, what? Actually, I wasn't extending, so technically I moved forward. Yeah. So yeah, that 70 earlier would have been for me flying out the water. Yeah. So now, in terms of movement, how much did I move? Because now that's what that bit out. MP wise, you spent about about two hundred. So good. Were you expecting me to kill him, Riku? No. Good. Hey. Right. Is the mayor around? Huh? Is the mayor around? Yeah, he is right over yonder. All right, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop over here, though. Alright, let me come up to him. So, uh, after all that happened, what happens to this guy now? Uh, he is, he's down for the count, but, uh, he is muttering very, very many profanities and comments of anger that he lost that fight. Excuse me. And, uh... His brother Arnold... <clears throat> speaks up and he says... I had a feeling this was gonna happen the moment you came over here. This idiot is always trying to fight someone or something to prove himself and he winds up losing most of the time. Tired of this he needs to, to go out of it already. Yashua apologizes to the two brothers for causing a bit of trouble. Also he he tells uh V was it? Yeah. For someone that lacks combat experience, he has a lot of he has a lot of potential to grow. If anything, I could I I could honestly see you becoming a very powerful sword sword wielder. You have the talent for it. Just gotta think twice before you act. Uh, Michael speaks up and he says, "Well, to be fair, if you didn't come over and fight him, he would have." went up to someone else and tried to fight them. So, I guess it worked out in the end anyway. And now all I can think about was when Cell says, please let it be TN, then Cell game. <laughs> that would've been ice. It's like, please let it be me. <laughs> I, I, boring. I just kicked someone's ass just moments ago. I just beat them black and blue with the butt of my pistol, dude. Oh, I'm not My little brother just walked into my room and says, Isn't this boring? While well, like, no. This is great. Anyways, continue. Um. Yeah, that's. Although, though, granted, watching you fight and you very clearly know what you are doing puts into perspective what all three of us need to properly think about <clears throat> if we're going to get ourselves involved in this whole mess. Well, Brick, it's time for you to adopt them under your wing and be their teacher. <laughs> that silence. Do I get the option to do that? No. <laughs> If I could build my own militia, they'll be fucking rad. 
get to fucking build up an army and take the fight to the destroyer? Fuck yeah. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, we're going to take this fool of a brother of ours and we're, we're gonna go have a, a long talk. Uh, I guess we'll see you around, if ever, and, uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs> Take care now. And they all, Arnold picks up Michael, Michael picks up Vincent's sword, and they all haul him off. And then, and then Yasha just says to himself, ah, nice lads, especially the loud one. <laughs> what a charmer he is. Indeed. So I slowly make my way back. Though it's going to take some time. Oh, my conversation with the mayor. I'm going to watch out the mayor. Did you know? I already forgot his name about a character. <laughs> Bazaar. You know, there's a fish looking guy named Bazaar that lives in the sea over there. What did you say his name was? Bazaar? Uh, that name doesn't ring any bells for me. Uh, he lives I alone. Sometimes I could ask around, and as you say, <clears throat> as you say, well, he lives alone. Uh, suddenly, Mayor's uh, tombstone starts ringing, and you happen to see the call ID for half a second, and it's Angela. And even though the phone is not on speaker, you hear her scream through the phone. Put the entire village on lockdown now. Uh, honey, don't question it. Just do it. Uh, okay, all right. And Mayor apologizes for leaving, but he he and Isora quickly sprint off towards the sanctuary of the village and sets off all the alarms and locks everything up and suddenly there are uh, very large walls blast walls if you will uh, surrounding the village from top to bottom and the entire village is now inside of a bubble and on that note that's gonna be it for this session all you all I have to say what a festive festivals <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hit the stop recording button now. <laughs>